it's Brainwash with Dr. Tom. We're here with uh, Benji Johnson out of Greensboro, North Carolina uh, with Guitar Picks. We've asked him to select 20 of his influence songs. Tony Rice. Oh. And if you'll pronounce that for me. Manzanita. Manzanita, okay. Uh, and and there's no need for me to even pick up a guitar on this one because I, I, I wish... You're, you're not worthy? I, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not even worthy at attempting to imitate Tony Rice, man. I mean, if I... You know, if if I could, and and the funny thing is, the the Tony Rice thing came because I started snapping up everything that I could find where that Jerry Douglas was playing on, mm-hmm. and this was an album from nineteen. Uh, gosh, I've got the cover of it around here somewhere. It was late. It was like seventy nine. Mm-hmm. Back when I was listening to Kiss, you know, these cats were making records that I was just totally unaware of, and I go back and listen to them, and they they carry their weight, you know, today mm-hmm. and. He had Jerry Douglas on Dobro, Ricky Skaggs, Sam Bush. Oh yeah. I mean, he had an all-star band playing with him, and these guys all, you know, they they were they were paying their dues, man. They were all studio guys back then. But he, uh, Tony Rice is just like, if if you ever want to talk about the quintessential smooth guitar player to me, I don't, I I don't get into a lot of jazz players that I could quote you, you know, stuff outside of you know. Obvious things like Wes Montgomery and things like that, and uh, but as far as a guitar player that has a whole vibe about him, and and people respect him because of the way that he plays. He's mm-hmm. not he's not arrogant. He's not you know. But but when he shows up, man, it's like phew, there's a there's a space around him, and it's like you don't you don't you don't step in it, man. I mean because he's the he's he's the man. I mean I, I don't know how to even you know. The th- I wish I could just grab my acoustic and just start ripping out Manzanita. I mean the the <laughs> The uh, the melody line is not that is not that difficult to the song, but it's it's another one of those with a melody line that 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 repeats. Man, it's an instrumental mm-hmm. song, you know. It's but it's got a melody line that 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 repeats and it sticks in your head. And what they happen and and what I started realizing about bluegrass music when I started uh, um, when I started listening to you know Jerry Douglas and all these guys is that and and I had heard bluegrass before but not paid attention to it from a musician standpoint and. Uh, and basically, man, it's it's just like everybody take a solo. You know, I mean, they go around the circle, and it comes from the old, you know, mm-hmm. it comes from the old days of everybody sitting in a circle, and mm-hmm. you and you went in the circle, and everybody and you played the same song, and it got to the solo part. You know, they'd yell out somebody to take a break, and you took a break, and you better be ready to take a break. <laughs> and that was the whole thing. And and so I started listening to this album, and I'm listening. I'm like, well, there's five guys playing. There's no drums on this thing. There's five guys playing. A mandolin player is holding down the snare part, you know, and and the dobro player he's chopping. He's uh, he's uh, he's chopping in a different time, you know. If the if the if the mandolin ta- player takes a break and he's not chopping, then the dobro player's just like that, you know. And 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 it's like they don't need a drummer. That was the greatest thing. That was the greatest thing about bluegrass. They didn't have to deal with drummers. Hey, we just we just saved some money, right? <laughs> That's the same having to deal with with drummers, <laughs> but they uh, um, they they basically go around and they all take solos. Mm-hmm.